Hello folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back with Morphe Richards for another handy Christmas tip. You guys were loving the homemade cranberry sauce on the last video, and today I've got a tip for you that's not just for Christmas, it's for all year round. It's how to make your own homemade short crust pastry using the Morphe Richards Total Control Stand Mixer. Trust me, you're gonna love it. And of course, with it being Christmas, we're gonna use it to make our very own mince pies, but you could use it, as I say, all year round, blind baking it to make pies and tarts. Mmm, so, so good. So we're using the Smart Response technology on the Morphe Richard Stand Mixer because it never loses power. We can adjust it as much as we like. Plus, it's got two attachments that we really need to help us with this pastry. You know when you make it by yourself and you get all that niggly feeling with your fingers? Doing it in the Stand Mixer, you can skip all of it. Amazing. Now, of course, there's lots of presets we could use, but we're going to stay in total control of our pastry making so we can adjust it just the way we like. We want it nice and low at first. First up, you're going to grab your mixing bowl and add in your plain flour. Follow up by pushing in your cold butter that's been cubed, kind of like the shape of those little dice that you tend to get in crackers that are just pointless, really. So push that all in there and return your bowl to the Morphe Richards Total Control Stand Mixer, locking it into position, and we are using the paddle attachment at first on a very low speed. And what that's gonna do as it beats together, it's gonna gradually merge that cold butter into the flour into really fine crumbs. So keep going on a low speed until it's fully merged together. Oh yes, just like I said, we've avoided doing that niggly fingers and thumb step. I don't know why, I just personally hate that. And another thing about using the Total Control Stand Mixer is we can now change our attachment from the paddle to the dough hook. With the dough hook on there, all we do is add our ice cold water in gradually. Once that gets in there with the flour and the butter, the hook will merge it through so it'll start to thicken up and go clumpy. Give it about five minutes and it should really be big thick chunks. So simply turn off your mixer and remove your bowl and once you get your hands in there, pull out your huge clump of short crust pastry. All you wanna do now is shape it with a little bit of flour on a board and wrap it in some cling film and keep it in the fridge for at least 20 minutes. How easy was that? And of course, when you're ready to use it, roll it out and cut it out into nice little disc shapes using a cookie cutter and sit it into a cupcake tray. I then spoon in heaped teaspoons of minced meat and then top it with a little star-shaped cutter. That's completely optional, you can put a lid on it. Remember to give it a good old egg wash as well for a bit more color and sprinkle of sugar and then bake it in your oven for a good 10 minutes. Once done, let cool in the tray for a couple of minutes before transferring to a wire rack. And then of course, completely optional, a little dusting of icing sugar will not go amiss. Absolutely gorgeous mince pies using our short crust pastry. And they taste even better, still freshly warmed from the oven. That is it then folks, remember to check out the cranberry sauce video, head over to the Morphe Richards website, or of course on this very Facebook page for more hints and tips. Have a very happy Christmas from My Virgin Kitchen and Morphe Richards.